Hello everyone, now I will present you an abridged summary of the plot of the movie Roadhouse. I wish you a pleasant viewing. Carter participates in underground fights, sought after by a girl named Frankie. At the same time, another fighter stops by the club. His name is Dalton, and he aims to be the best fighter in this club. Carter knows who this man is, which is why he refuses to fight and Dalton wins the prize money. On the street, he is confronted by a man who lost $500, who stabs Dalton but can't pull the knife out and runs away. While treating the wound, Frankie offers Dalton a job at her bar, but he declines. Before leaving, Frankie leaves her number in case he changes his mind. Dalton, tired of his life, stops on the railroad tracks, but at the very last moment, he changes his mind and survives. The thought of starting over enters his mind, and for this, he wants to get a job at Frankie's. At the stop, he meets a girl named Charlie. She works in a bookstore owned by a man named Stephen. He helps find the bar Dalton is looking for. First, he buys a cup of coffee and gets acquainted with the bartenders. Every evening, the bar is crowded with people. Fights break out among them, but bartender Billy calms everyone down. A few hours later, a biker gang enters the bar. Their leader, Dell, doesn't like how quiet it is and starts breaking things. They drive out the guests and harass the girls. Billy comes to the rescue, but the leader doesn't like it. Dalton takes the troublemakers outside and asks if their insurance can cover the broken teeth. Those are your bikes out there, right? Eh? Yeah, mine's a red one on the right. Dell starts laughing and immediately gets slapped. The bikers try to beat Dalton, but he only slaps them. The bikers had no chance, but Dalton, being a kind person, takes them to the hospital. Nurse Ellie notices Dalton has an open wound and offers her help, which is why he stays in the hospital longer and is followed. Returning to the bar, Frankie gives him his first paycheck. She realizes he has nowhere to live and offers him accommodation on a boat. Throwing out all the unnecessary stuff, he begins to recall his life where Dalton was a famous UFC fighter. But his sleep is interrupted by bartender Laura. She says they've had many bouncers and hopes Dalton will stay for a long time. After breakfast, he goes to the bookstore. He asks if they have a computer, a fight starts in the neighboring store, and the girl tries to drive away the bikers. Dalton notices their conversation and comes to Charlie's aid. The bikers immediately get scared and leave. Later, he returns to the bar and asks why the locals recognize him. Frankie says that gossip spreads very quickly here. All the bikers work for Ben. He wants to close Frankie's business and doesn't like that just one person beat his gang. At this time, Dalton teaches Billy the basics of fighting against people with knives, and they, along with Dalton, drive away the troublemakers. Dalton spends all his free time maintaining physical shape and meets Reef. He helped Billy drive away the troublemakers. Dalton notices wounds on his knuckles. Reef says he boxes. Now a new bouncer is working in the bar under Dalton's supervision. A man tries to steal a bottle, but Dalton hints that this is not a good idea and asks him to go home. Outside, he notices a group of bikers. They say they will return soon. A new day comes. Dalton accidentally meets Ellie. He asks why people here are so aggressive. She explains that loyalty is valued here. Even the police can't always help when they should. The most important thing is not to cross bad people. Otherwise, they might kill him. Before leaving, Dalton compliments Ellie. I like your hair. You did a nice job. Fuck Frank. After work, Laura offers Dalton to drive him home, but he refuses. Walking down the road, they try to kill him, but he miraculously survives. Dale suspected it wouldn't kill Dalton, so he breaks into his house. Dalton wants to understand why someone is trying to kill him. Dale explains that it's not about him, it's about the bar. Dalton seizes the moment and attacks Dale and throws him into the water, just as suddenly a crocodile appears and kills the man. Tomorrow, Dalton tries to understand why they want to take over the bar, but he is stopped again by the bandit. Dalton learns the name of the boss and if he wants to talk to him, he has to go to him himself. Ben is annoyed that some bouncer is ruining all his plans. 
His father realizes that Ben won't do anything about it and enlists the help of Knox, who picks out some new clothes. <laughs> Dalton and Ellie take a boat ride. She wants to show her favorite place, a small island hidden underwater. She tells him that Ben belongs to an ancient family that built most of this town. Ellie starts asking about Dalton's life. He doesn't like that and wants to leave. Dalton calls Ellie a good man, but she doesn't need to get to know him better. However, Ellie knows a way to calm Dalton down. Knox comes to town and meets a biker gang. A little later, Ben arrives. Knox immediately delivers a message from his father. Ben asks him to give him another chance, and if he fails, Knox may burn down the whole bar. Dalton is stopped by the police and taken to the sheriff. He wants Dalton to leave town. If he refuses, he'll be taken to the station and stabbed to death. But Ellie comes to the rescue and stabs the sheriff. He is her father. Ellie tells him that her father works for Ben's family. Gerald's the one in charge. He was a drug dealer, but they put him in jail. She's sure the sheriff is now working for Ben. Ellie doesn't want Dalton to die and asks him to leave. Meanwhile, bandits are about to destroy the bookstore. In the evening, Ben comes to the bar to meet Dalton in person. He shows a video of Dalton fighting with his friend and accidentally killing him. Ben fails to reach a deal and asks Knox to destroy the bar. Dalton immediately spots the bandits. Billy and Reef try to stop him, but Knox beats them with a bat, after which he calls Dalton's name. What? He immediately says that he was hired to deal with Dalton, but he won't use the bat he has enough to do with his hands. A fight breaks out between them. Dalton tries to dodge the blows, but Knox doesn't seem to feel any pain and rushes into the fight like a rabid animal. Knox is confident Dalton is trying to restrain himself. They are interrupted by the police arriving. Dalton packs his things to leave town. Frankie doesn't understand how they managed to scare him. At a bus stop, he notices a destroyed bookstore and asks what happened to the girl and her father. The firemen say they have been taken to the hospital. Now Dalton no longer wants to run away. But instead, he personally visits the biker gang's house. Dalton was not afraid of Knox and his gang, but of what he could do to them. With one blow, he kills the gangster. I just broke the hyoid bone in your throat. Probably the man tells him where Dalton can find Ben. Toward morning, he notices police officers unloading crates. Waiting for the moment, Dalton knocks out the deputy and opens the crates. They are completely stuffed with money. Dalton takes the officer's gun and shoots the biker. A little later, the sheriff comes to him and asks for the money back, and his daughter has been taken by Ben's men and they won't give her back until he brings the money. Dalton has to agree. Knox returns to the biker's house and doesn't realize where everyone has disappeared to. Dalton is not going to give up the money until Ellie is shown to him, but their negotiations are interrupted by Knox. Dalton pushes a button and his boat explodes. Panic ensues, and Dalton runs to find Ellie. The glass bursts and Ellie swims to the surface. She is spotted by Ben and brought up to the yacht. Knox tries to kill Dalton, but he clings to a rope and crawls onto the boat, then throws Knox into the water and overtakes Ben to jump onto his yacht. Ellie tells Dalton to jump into the water, whereupon the yacht and Ben fly ashore. By this time, Knox has swam to the bridge. After looking around the bar, Dalton finds Ben, who tries to kill him with a harpoon. Just as suddenly, Knox crashes into the building. A rematch begins. This time, Dalton doesn't hold back and throws a series of hard punches. Dalton pretends to be tired and catches Knox in the act. He grabs him from behind and tries to choke him out, but Knox grabs a sharp stick and gets out of the hold, seriously injuring him. Ben starts ordering him to do his job, and a distraught Knox kills Ben with his last strength. Dalton pulls out a stick and sends Knox to the other side. The sheriff comes out and promises to cover for Dalton. Before he leaves, he chats with Charlie, and her father finds a bag full of money but he doesn't have time to ask where it came from. This is where the movie ends. If you like the retelling of the movie, then Obesazano click like and leave your assessment of this movie in the comments.
Bye-bye, everybody.